back to the high side arrives on the scene Niels Coulson in the black and green Duquesne car and he does gain a spot so was that on Fred Vesti yes it was so Vesti the platinum driver not able to make the progress that I'd hoped for cool racing and he's overtaken by Niels Coulson who's now up to ninth position his French teammate Matteo Capietto is going to go for the race lead, is he? No, not quite. Oli Caldwell had that move covered, but Capietto now trying to get the outside line out of San Donato. That's not going to work though for Luco, so has to stay in second. Oh, what a great move this could be if he charges his way down the inside of Poggio Secco, and Oli Caldwell is helpless to that. Excellent manoeuvre from Matteo Capietto, who is now still weaving with to try and build the tyre temperature. So he was involved in that tussle, trying to get through the Adam GT3 pack, and he has dropped way back down now. Lost, what was that, uh, 14, 15 seconds somewhere? So the Euro International car, our championship leader that was running a strong third and looking to get on the terms with the RLR cars ahead, has now dropped to sixth position with Adam Alley. Now the 34 car's very close to Charles Milesi, who may have used the best of his tyres as well. Milesi gets through on the 31, but here comes the 34 into Europol wow. competition car around the outside. He's got tyres underneath that car, hasn't he? Scarparia into Palagio. That's two positions in two sectors of the circuit. Here's Daniel Serra to the high side in the car guy Ferrari, trying to break as late as he possibly can. If he can stay there, door handle to door handle, the next corner's a left-hander, and without any contact whatsoever, an absolutely superb overtake from Daniel Serra to take the GT3 lead away from Lorcan Hannafin. Beautifully done by the Brazilian. 